Hello, my name is Andrea. I'm from Romania and I grew up in Italy and I'm currently a senior student at the School of Economics and Management majoring in Economics and Finance. When I was in high school, I really uh, liked studying foreign languages. I really wanted to go and exchange and I was given the opportunities of uh, doing a year abroad uh, with an international NGO to China. So that was the first time really knowing that I would be studying Chinese and that I would be in contact with this country in uh, any way possible. So during that time, I was studying in a Chinese high school in Jamosu Heilongjiang. I was doing boarding school. So during the week, I would stay in the dorm. I had an Italian roommate and two Chinese roommates. And I would have in the morning classes in the international class in which we will study um, language, the first thing. And then we will study everything about culture. So art, uh, music, uh, we will do uh, Chinese calligraphy, Chinese painting, Painting. Uh, we also do sports like Tai Chi and um, uh, Kung Fu, some of these. And it was a very interesting period and I got to learn a lot and it was also my first contact with the language itself. So it was definitely a sort of new discovery and awakening for me. Then in the afternoon we also study with Chinese classmates in their classes and that really allowed me to be fully immersed in uh, Chinese students' uh, daily life and understand how they view the school systems, how they are studying, what are their future plans as well. Then in the weekend, I would stay at my host family, which uh, sometimes I wrong wrongfully call my Chinese family. I've developed a really good relationship with them and they have truly become like a second family right now. Until this day, I try to meet them a couple of times a year when I'm in China and I still visit them or they visit me in Beijing. I'm still very close with my host sister that also lives in Beijing and we also meet quite often. With them, I was able to learn the Chinese values of family unity and hospitality and the Chinese people are extremely welcoming and friendly. And during that time, I was able to spend Chinese New Year and all other festivities with them, which really allowed me to understand more about uh, Chinese culture and because it was a more rural area in China, I was able to discover uh, China at a 360 degree angle. And in some ways, uh, China in Jamusu, it reminded me a lot of Romania as well. The environment, the streets, and also a lot of the hospitality culture here. They are definitely very different countries, but at the same time, it made my uh, impression of China and my experience feel not that much different from where I was uh, in Romania or back in Europe. Before coming here, I think I didn't have a really good understanding of China and there weren't a lot of role models around me that had China background. Um, and also before I had some movies, I've seen some movies or uh, TV shows or cartoons, but they were definitely not fully representative of the whole culture. So for example, I grew up watching a lot of Jackie Chan movies or Mulan, uh, and that gave me the impression that when I came to China, it, would, it was either going to be very futuristic or very traditional, and there wouldn't have been any in-betweens. But in 2015, I totally got a different view of that, and uh, being here in Beijing right now, I can totally say it's a mix of both in every way. You can walk around and see a super high-tech district and then there would be a traditional temple on the other side of the street. So I think uh, that really opened my eyes. 